What is up guys, Rick Akis here going over the level 70 laser Wilhelm build. Now, let's go over the equipment required to make this function. Oh, I'm going to get that Leia's face out of there. Now, first you do need the Prismatic Bulwark Shield. Now, this shield you're basically only using for the laser damage plus 36% essentially. It is nice when you're getting shot at by an enemy using lasers to absorb them, but this rarely happens. You do want a Master Blaster class mod. This blue one has worked fine. We're going to go over the skills in just a little bit. And you do also need the 3DD1 E or the Eddy. Again, you're basically using this for the laser damage, but the fact that this shield, or I should say Ozkit, actually just randomly heals you is amazing. And also, when you're shooting enemies and you actually kill enemies, it can shoot out a supply drop which can drop money, ammo, or even health vials and that's actually great for your survivability. So I really do like this Oz kit and I would be using it pretty much even if I wasn't using a laser build. Now going over the skills, the most important skills right now, you have a laser focus. Of course you can see laser damage plus 40% and an increase to laser magazine size. That's going to build the, uh, kind of bring the class together. And that's coupled with the Welcome to the Gun Show perk. Now, I did have another class that switched these around. This one has plus 6, this one has plus 5. They were switched around at one point, but Welcome to the Gun Show increases just everything to do with guns. And now it doesn't specifically pair with lasers. I mean, lasers are guns, and having weapon damage, reload speed, magazine size, accuracy, and recoil reduction is just a great skill to have and really makes your lasers perform a lot better. Now, mana machine is irrelevant. I can move the skill pretty much anywhere. Targeting scope, pretty much, you know, you gotta remember that this is a gun build. You're increasing lasers, so you wanna increase your guns. And even though you might not want, you know, lasers aren't necessarily associated with critical damage, they're gonna get criticals. And so you want anything to do with gun damage, critical damage, you really kind of wanna focus on those things for this build. So, targeting scope is selected for that reason. Here is shock absorbers for the other reason, gun damage plus 20% good enough for me. I really like divert power, it really does increase your survivability. And vengeance cannon, this could be put somewhere else but I really don't mind this skill. Now going into the other tree, afterburner, just increasing wolf's potential is great. Wolf is a great asset to have, even at level 70 is quite powerful. Fire support again went over the fact that you just want to increase gun damage as much as possible. Suppression for the same reason, fire rate is going to be great with all of your lasers. Laser guide, basically look down at target damage received plus 25%. Irrelevant to the fact that, you know, targeting an enemy and making wolf specifically attack him is a great asset to have. The fact that you're basically saying you target a guy and then you're going to be doing 25% more damage, that's fantastic and it's definitely worth having for just that reason. Now kill switch, this is I found quite useful even at level 70, the explosion is still quite powerful, but it's not essential. Rolling thunder, again I really like just making wolf more powerful, and you know not many enemies actually kill wolf right away, and so he's able to stack quite quickly doing a lot of damage by the end. And now scramble is just, if, K if he does get downed, putting another one and being able to reacquire with your laser guide is quite useful in that respect. And Omega Strike, you know, uh, very powerful. I really do like missiles in this. Still do a lot of damage even at level 70. Auxiliary Tanks, just for that cooldown rate, very important there. Energize is going to increase your survivability a ton. It's fantastic for that. Termination Protocols, I do like, and I actually get revived from the explosion more than I'd like to admit. Now, Rapid Reinforcement, again, uh, this is just a great overall thing. Reload Speed is very important with all guns and movement speed is great and action cooldown rate is also fantastic just uh, really good all around and don't underestimate how important having a 40 percent reload speed bonus with lasers is now hazmat containment system this i didn't initially have but i've grown to absolutely love it so many enemies do elemental damage and having a 50 percent elemental resistance is huge especially even in the end game boss fight like when you're fighting uh the invincible sentinel the raid boss when it's doing its little electric or corrosive thing and it kind of raises the pillars that you're supposed to jump on, well if you have hazmat containment system you can just stand there, take some damage and get some insanely good damage on him while he's doing his like execution thing. Again, you're just like whatever, I'm not really getting damaged that much by it. And overcharge, love this ability. 
Do not underestimate ammo generation. Fantastic to have ammo generation. Even if you're just running around and you don't need Wolf and Saint, putting them out, getting a bunch of ammo generation, then putting them away and you can quickly do that again is great. Fire rate plus 75% is also amazing. Really going to increase your damage output, especially since a lot of the lasers have really, really large magazines. So that's the build. Now, how does it function in the absolute end game content at level 70? Well, you're going to see that it functions pretty well. Now, the best part of this class is that it's just very accessible even for new players. You only really need two specific legendaries, and that's the Prismatic Bulwark and the Eddy. And I got them both from checking the vending machines. You really got to keep on top of those vending machines. Again, I bought both of them from vending machines within about five minutes of each other. It was fantastic. But aside from those two things, the rest of your class can just be blues. There's really, really powerful, unique blue lasers in this game that function extremely well. I have soloed, you know, the Invincible Sentinel with this build. Now, I'm not going to pretend that it has the same damage output as some of the other classes. I mean, I have seen um, certain Athena classes, and uh, definitely I have a friend who plays the Lawbringer, and oh my goodness, their damage output is miles ahead of what your damage output is with the Laser Wilhelm build, but they're dying every five seconds. Like, my Lawbringer friend is constantly down because they don't have the survivability that you do. When you have Wolf and Saint out, getting constantly healed, and, and getting able to use something like the Eddy that will just randomly completely regenerate your health and shields is just fantastic. Not to mention... Um, the term or the divert power skill is also great for survivability. So you have a class. I mean, again, it doesn't have amazing um, damage output, but it has very, very good damage output, good enough to tackle the most powerful bosses in the game. And you also have coupled with that very, very good survivability. Now, it's also a great benefit to this class that lasers come in all shapes and sizes. Some heal you, there's close range lasers, there's splitters, there's just everything you can imagine. You can even get lasers like time 6 lasers, essentially functioning like shotguns. And all of those different lasers, you can have long range lasers like rail guns, so you have pretty much every different gun in laser versions. And then all of those are massively increased in damage output, magazine size, fire rate because of your class that you're basically, you're basically good with all guns because lasers, again, they have all these different functions. You can get so many different types of lasers that it just makes this class extremely viable. It's not like you have a shotgun build, and if you're using a shotgun build, yes, you can kind of have, you know, medium, slightly longer medium range shotguns, but you're really kind of nerfed in that aspect but with lasers you can have very long range lasers in the terms of rail guns you're basically snipe rifles and so you can function in so many different areas by just using lasers now i definitely wouldn't use all four slots towards lasers always have one slot that's like a very good pistol or a very good assault rifle that you have in case you do run out of laser ammo you don't want to be completely screwed if that happens but again the uh, wolf and saint ability with overcharge is going to make it so that you really don't run out of ammo that often in fact ammo shortage is just not an issue i ever come across when using this build so in summary, this is a very, very viable build at level 70. Not the greatest damage output I've ever seen, not gonna lie, but very decent damage output coupled with very good survivability makes it for an all-around great class, and it's gonna be great for new players because it really only requires two specific legendary items, and other than that, everything else can be blue. And again, there's very, very powerful blue-red text lasers that you can get from very easy quests that are gonna absolutely melt guys even at the absolute level 70 endgame. I've actually done a ton of different level 70 red text weapon reviews so I would urge you guys to go check those out if you want to see some lasers that are definitely worth getting with this build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Borderlands content and as always have a good day.